Now, so we told you earlier in the bulletin we'll be crossing over to the premises of Modern Ghana, where three editors of the online news portal are still missing after national security operatives stormed their office Thursday following a story on National Security Minister Kandapa and MP for the ruling NPP Afenyo Marking. There has been a publication about the minister, which Modern Ghana says was an opinion piece, but subsequent to that, their office was raided. Reports suggest laptops belonging to the online media outfit were seized in the course of the raid and the whereabouts of his colleagues remain unknown. My colleague Johnny Hughes is joining us from the offices of Modern Ghana. June 27, around 2 p.m., we got information that some two editors of the Modern Ghana website had been picked up by uh, suspected operatives of the national security. They were plain clothed, uh, but then later we realized that um, two other armed policemen had joined them to effect the arrest. The two gentlemen, Emmanuel Ajafo and Emmanuel Chum, were picked up. So we've come here to the premises of the Modern Ghana website to find out for ourselves what the full details are. Come with me, let's find out. And in here is the, the premises of the Modern Ghana website. The gentleman we spoke to who's one of the staff here uh, is a junior and so he's not allowing us to enter the office because he is not so sure what his superiors may think about uh, him allowing us to enter their premises but uh, what we know is that contrary to previous reports that three people were picked up only two persons were picked up. We have information also that the editor-in-chief has gone to the police to find out uh, where the, his colleagues are being kept at the moment. And we do not know the reason for which they are being kept. But earlier reports or preliminary investigations uh, said that they are being arrested for some publications made pointing uh, fingers at the Minister for National Security and also at uh, Honorable Afenyo Marking. We also are aware that there are some uh, initial reports that says that they've been involved in some uh, cyber crimes uh, or intercepting uh, information from stringers and correspondent of competing media houses and websites. It will be recalled that last Friday, the uh, director of cyber crime at the Ghana Police Service, uh, Chief Superintendent ACP, Dr. Gustav Yangsen, had mentioned that uh, we all need to fortify our uh, passwords to prevent people from getting in there. Interestingly, that story today has made it onto the website of Modern Ghana. And so questions are being asked about press freedom, but questions are being asked about uh, whether or not this is just a hoax or it is actually uh, what the true story is. And other media houses are also here to ascertain for themselves what the real situation is. For now, this is what we know. Uh, we do not know the whereabouts of the two gentlemen who were picked up yesterday. And we were told that the uh, plainclothes security men walked in, or supposed plain security men walked in here. Uh, they called out the editor, Mr. Ajafo, and uh, they had a conversation with him. So he was walking up to, to their vehicle, and then one of the ladies here actually told him that, well, you can't walk up to some somebody's car when you don't know who they are. And so while he was trying to return, then uh, clothed military police persons, I beg your pardon, with arms, uh, got out of the vehicle and forced him in there. Subsequently, they came up, went through this door, and then picked up another Emmanuel Chum. So two Emmanuels, Emmanuel Ajafo and Emmanuel Chum were picked up. And then they followed up, got into their office, which is some, somewhere here. That's the last window. Uh, it leads to the office, and then they picked up their laptop. So we've seen the building as well. We've seen the uh, in, inner of the of the uh, editorial room, and they're just empty chairs and empty tables. There's nobody there, save one person. And earlier, we had also spoken to another staff of Modern Ghana who had told us on condition of anonymity because they seem to be scared uh, for themselves, not knowing exactly what their crimes are or uh, where their colleagues are being kept. Johnny Hughes, TV3 News, East Legon. And in the studio, my name is Grace Hamwa. So we earlier spoke with the president of the GJA who said that he has been interacting with the National Security Minister and he's confirmed the raid is as a result of a monitoring exercise by the National Security Operatives on Modern Ghana News Portal. So he has assured that the GJA will do all they can to ensure that these editors are found.